square and square roots square root of a number now we know how to find the square of a number a square number is formed when we multiply any number by itself and when we multiply a number by itself we say the number is squared square root of a number a square root goes the other way Four squared is sixteen, so the square root of sixteen is four. Eight squared is sixty-four, so the square root of sixty-four is eight. Twelve squared is one hundred and forty-four. So the square root of 144 is 12. So a square of a number is the value that we get after multiplying a number by itself. And square root of a number is the value that can be multiplied by itself to get the original value. So if you are asked to find a square root of a number, always ask yourself What can we multiply by itself to get this number? How will you find the square root of hundred? What can we multiply by itself to get this number? Some number into same number is equal to hundred. So ten into ten is equal to hundred. So the square root of hundred is ten. How will you find the square root of eighty one? What can we multiply by itself to get this number? Some number into same number is equal to eighty-one. So nine into nine is equal to eighty-one. So the square root of eighty-one is nine. This is the symbol that is used to show a square root. This is a special symbol of a square root. It is also called a radical sign. Let us see how it is used. Two squared is four, so we write it as four in the square root symbol is equal to two. Therefore, we read it as a square root of four is two. Seven squared is forty-nine, so we write it as forty-nine in the square root symbol is equal to seven. We read it as a square root of forty-nine is seven. Fifteen squared is two twenty-five, so we write it as two twenty-five in the square root symbol. Is equal to fifteen. Therefore, we read it as a square root of two twenty-five is fifteen. The square root symbol is called the radical sign. The number inside the symbol is a radicand. Radical sign and radicand together is called the radical. Now we know how to find the square root of smaller numbers. But what about bigger numbers? To find the square root of bigger numbers, we use the method of factorization. Let us see how. Let us try to find the square root of four hundred and eighty-four. Now the first step is to find the factors of four hundred and eighty-four. Once we are done with it, we write the factors horizontally. So it will look like four eighty-four is equal to two into two into eleven into eleven. Look at the factors carefully. Two into two means two squared, and eleven into eleven means eleven squared. Here we can make groups of same numbers. Why? Because we have each number two times. So we make first group as two into eleven, and the exactly same second group as two into eleven. So we can say that two into eleven is multiplied by two into eleven. In another way, it is the square of two into eleven, so it will look like four eighty four is equal to two into eleven squared. Two into eleven is twenty two. Therefore, four eighty four is equal to twenty two squared. Now we write four eighty four in the radical sign, which is equal to twenty two. Therefore, the square root of four eighty four is equal to twenty two. Let us try to find the square root of three hundred and twenty-four. 
Now the first step is to find the factors of 324. Once we are done with it, we write the factors horizontally. So it will look like 324 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Look at the factors carefully. 2 into 2 means 2 squared and 3 into 3 means 3 squared and again 3 into 3 means 3 squared. Here we can make groups of same numbers. Why? Because we have each number 2 times. So we make first group as 2 into 3 into 3 and the exactly same second group as 2 into 3 into 3. So we can say that 2 into 3 into 3 is multiplied by 2 into 3 into 3. In another way, it is the square of 2 into 3 into 3. So it will look like 324 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 squared. 2 into 3 into 3 is 18. Therefore, 324 is equal to 18 square. Now, we write 324 in the radical sign which is equal to 18. Therefore, the square root of 324 is equal to 18. Let us try to find the square root of 676. Now, the first step is to find the factors of 676. Once we are done with it, we write the factors horizontally. So, it will look like 676 is equal to 2 into 2 into 13 into 13. Look at the factors carefully. 2 into 2 means 2 squared and 13 into 13 means 13 squared. Here, we can make groups of same numbers. Why? Because we have each number 2 times. So, we make first group as 2 into 13 and the exactly same second group as 2 into 13. So, we can say that 2 into 13 is multiplied by 2 into 13. In another way, it is the square of 2 into 13. So, it will look like 676 is equal to 2 into 13 squared. 2 into 13 is 26. Therefore, 676 is equal to 26 squared. Now, we write 676 in the radical sign which is equal to 26. Therefore, the square root of 676 is equal to 26. Can you find the square root of a number now? Yes.